Welcome to the uh, Joe Fixes It channel. Today's project is replacing the carburetor on my Echo CS400 chainsaw. The reason we're doing this is because it's running rough. I've had this unit for about eight or nine years. I don't give it a lot of heavy use, but lately I've been doing some clearing and that's where I begin to run into problems. I just figure the carburetor needs a rebuild, so why not just put another carburetor on it? They're not that expensive. You can get them on eBay for about $45. Before we start, I just wanted to say, make sure it's not hot so you don't burn your fingers and be prepared to spill a little gasoline as you pull it out. So you can always wear some rubber gloves so you don't get that gasoline smell on your hands. We will remove the cover. Take the mounting screws off. I'll take the air cleaner hold down and set it to the side. Pay attention to your gasoline lines and where they go. And be prepared to spill gas. Well, that's a lot of gas. Take your control linkage off as such. And that leaves you one more fuel line to take loose right here. Now we have our carburetor off. We're gonna set it to the side, get a kit and rebuild it, and that'll be on another video. And it'll be my spare carburetor for my CS400 Echo Chainsaw. This is the new carburetor. We remember our orientation. First thing we do is we hook up our choke and our throttle levers. And we'll bring around and align our carburetor. Then we'll bring in our air cleaner housing, run our screws in, and we'll push this thing down in this position. We've got the carburetor in, we've got the air cleaner housing on. The next thing we're gonna do is put our control handle back on. First thing you do is take this spring and press it down. We snap the handle on. We're gonna put the hold down screw in. Everything works, we're good to go. All right, we got that in place. I put my spark plug wire on and we'll put our screws in. We're done with that, got the carburetor on, it runs perfectly. I'm ready to go cut wood. You probably wanna take a good look at your uh, fuel line hoses and make sure they're not rotten. And as you take it apart, pay very close attention to where all those linkages are supposed to be so you don't get any binding or anything like that after you're done. You could even break out the little cell phone and take pictures of it before you take it apart so you know what it's supposed to look like when you're done. If you found this content interesting or useful, subscribe to the channel. It supports the channel. If you're a closet foodie, check out Joe is Hungry, my food channel. It was a pleasure doing this for you, and we'll see you in the next video. And we are ready to go.